Oh, oh my god. Oh, I see a female below, Bailey. Is that something we can bring up? <laughs> <laughs> what is that video of, Bailey? Okay, let's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see this. Let's do it. I fear with Take a look at this. he is beginning to be the new Justin Herbert for me, where every week on tape, I'm like, this dude is putting out some of the best throws I've seen of any quarterback. And yet everything around him is crumbling. He's constantly in third and long. They're constantly running the ball with no success and early downs. I am starting to really worry because we're about halfway into the season. This should be a Super Bowl team. But Alex, it feels like the infrastructure around him is not good enough right now. Gosh, I'm so torn on this because I am an enormous CJ Shroud fan. I have two sons that both want to play football and my oldest wants to play quarterback. And I've, I've thought about this. Like if I were to pick one quarterback that you could like watch and be like, this is what you, this is what it looks like. This is what playing quarterback looks like. I think I would pick CJ Stroud. When you talk about like classically, beautifully playing quarterback, like yeah. it is so fundamental. It look, he makes it look so easy. He is so dialed in. He is so sound. It's so crazy to say about a second year player. Like yeah. it's absurd. I, I even think he, in some ways he's more fundamental than Joe Burrow. He's had, you know, two rough games, maybe two of his roughest games of his career this season. Both of them, I think are two of the best teams in football though they played against. He went, on, he went on the road to Minnesota and he went on the road to Green Bay. Watching that film though, I, there wasn't anything he missed out there. I, I just want to ask you a question. I mean, like, you seriously, like, you really listen to her and not have like fucking embarrassing secondhand cringe vibes? Like seriously, you sit here and listen to her and really thought that she was giving you some informative ass fucking shit. Like, if you seriously going to tell me that off that, what I just asked you, we're going to have a problem the rest of the year. Throughout the rest I just of the think your season. expectations when you are watching Mina Kimes. I did ask your question. Her her angle is to use stats and yeah, data, and she gives an opinion but based upon I that. Know what you think about it? So I no, the, that's the facts. I'm just trying to break it down no, to you. you. So you, I'm you, no, 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 no. You're giving us no, 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 no. I'm about to I'm about to tell you the reason why you have issues with her. Okay, answer my question. You have expectations you when you listen to her. To break shit down like uh, at a coach level she will question. never do that that's I not who she gave, is what you asking jb you telling me darnell smith who played this game at a division one level all conference, all conference captain yeah sat there and just heard her speak mm -hmm. and you listen to what she said mm -hmm. about cj stroud and you don't have instant second hand embarrassment about what she said and have like a cringe vibe that's the question i asked you no you're i don't you're gonna sit here and tell me you don't no i don't whether i disagree i, 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 don't think I disagree I, I disagree I, I, I disagree I, but i can't take you seriously. she's comparing them to justin herbert in the sense that justin herbert's a guy who could, who, who could always make any throw in the field his first couple years breaking all these rookie records coming in but stuff got a little shaky. That's how she's seeing it. I don't believe it. I don't think it's shaky. They're five and two. We just said well, I had them in with my top six, top seven so teams in the NFL. Right? So her. I disagree. But, you but still. I'm saying you can disagree with somebody without getting cringe vibes. I disagree with you every day. I don't get cringe vibes. I, I, I did this to my face. <laughs> it literally, I think I cracked my nose. I heard the crack. Really? Yeah. You, you all right? Uh -huh. Your face getting red, too. Yeah. Before you Before you start to go. Take a deep breath, because I can see you about to go on a crazy rant no, no, and yell no, at me and your face is red and stuff like that. I'm not. So take a, take I, a I, beat. I take just, a just beat. She is a – she's like the definition of DEI. I what, what does that mean to you? I know you joke, joke about a lot. What does that mean to you? No, but – What does it mean to you? No, because see, to you, you no, think I'm it's all about race and it's black. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not no, about – No, it's not. It's, there's white DEI hires, homie. It's race and, and women. she's Asian or whatever she is. She's DEI hire. It's when you don't belong, you haven't earned the position, and you've been put there by design or placed there because of one reason or another. That is the definition of a DEI. Then we took that definition and we said, oh, it's equitable. It's equity. It's about fairness. She doesn't belong there over fucking Merrill Hodge. She doesn't belong there over Sean Salisbury. She doesn't belong there over me.
But what do I? That's do? where. Okay, now. No, 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 no. Don't you don't spin it, homie. So you jealous? Spin it. I'm not jealous at all. Why is that jealous? I'm asking you. No, I'm asking no, you. No, I'm no, asking no, 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 so, all right. Your response. Tell me by saying Let's jealous. Go back. No, 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 no. When you just said I'm jealous, <laughs> I'm asking you. I'm asking that's you, a DEI response. Let's go back to no, the, no, no, let's, go to, let's go back to the very beginning. Okay. No, I'm when honest. I asked you to define DEI, you said you know she's been placed. So should so she for, be there over? So for Pat clarity, Maxine? so for clarity, so ask question. JB, the Maxine? problem is you can say that about every single body. Technically speaking, no, no, no. You know why? Because there's always somebody who has more experience, or who's greater, who's grander, who did it more at a higher level. X, Y, and Z. There's always there's a co there's coaches across the college football who I could be like, they don't deserve it over you or over this person. You could argue that no coaches right now in the NFL deserves over Bill Belichick or Pete Carroll. So whatever position that you can always argue that this person doesn't deserve it over this person. But in the, the day, it's about putting yourself in position to get an opportunity. She's done that. When you say somebody's been placed. You're basically saying, oh, they would have sent around, you like, you know what, you know what, we want an Asian woman on, on TV. Let me let, let me just look around. Oh, Mina, somebody we found on Google. Damn, let us call her and bring her here. So, like so you're saying she didn't, she didn't do no thing. work. No, no, seriously. She did no but, work to get I, here. I got to ask you when you're going to use just a simple, basic thought process. Thank you, Brandon Parks. And shout out to you. You a real one, Brandon. When are you going to use just a real, simple, basic, logical thought process ever in life when you answer these questions? Never. You just said, never. See, you just literally said she's earned the position to be put in place. Tell me, break it down, break it down. Don't get on the internet either, homie. Yeah, I got to. No, you don't. I don't, I don't like. No, you stuff don't. Up. I don't like. You don't gotta get up. on the internet. I make stuff up. You just fucking told on yourself. Why do you have to Google her resume if she's earned it already, homie? I don't know. I don't. I can't tell you <laughs> none of motherfuckers resumes, homie. I could tell you nobody's resume. It's called what? research. JB, JB's weird. What? J, JB don't like when you do research to answer a what? question. He want if you don't know on top of your head, then it didn't happen. No, homie, I'm gonna what? do my homework. Then she didn't earn it, homie. No, I don't mean that. She homie. didn't earn it. You, if know, you have to look you it know up. Everybody's fucking resume on top of your head. So, I know so everybody else you know. Okay, I know Sean Salisbury. That's one motherfucker. I know Sean Salisbury. I know Meryl Hodges. They got fired at ESPN. I know Sage. Why Sage. Sage. Okay. I know Sage Sill. It's reason why I know Bill. Sage left, homie. I know McAfee. I know these motherfuckers that started that earned. So your definition earned, <laughs> but I don't. She earned it, but Smitty's on the laptop. But she earned it. Make it make sense, homie. You fucking shitting me. She's earned it. You don't even know her background. How did she earn it? That's the definition of DEI hire, homie. Holy fuck. She don't deserve it, homie. She's cringe as fuck. Listening to her speak is absolute making me dumber. By day, it makes Noel Mazzoni dumber. It makes Josh Booty dumber. It makes Sean King dumber. Why do all of us who played and coached feel dumber when we listen to her, but she's great to you? Make it make sense, homie. Holy fuck, dog. She's earned what? What has she fucking earned? I want to know what she's earned over you. Who's been at Fox for eight years now? I want to know what she's earned over me, who knows the game inside out in every fucking facet aspect and what have you wanted to whatever you want to talk about. And let's just defend you here. You've been at Fox for eight years. You can go on both sides of the fucking spectrum. You can go gray area down the middle. You can go left and talk with the left. You can go right and talk with the right and and, and talk hood. Why don't you deserve it over her, homie? Yeah, see what I'm saying? That's, that's not life, JB. That's not life, it is JB. Life. That's not life. Because it's DI life. When I first got in on TV, people could say, "Oh, he didn't earn shit." Why does Darn? Why does Smitty get that over so and so and so and so and so? So life's about opportunity, yeah. homie. It's about who you know. It's about that's putting yourself in position. I put man. myself in position by my networking ability, by starting my own podcast, by being a good human being, and, 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 and having a degree, and and, and I got opportunity. So, when I got that, I took full advantage of it. She was a she was a she was a, she was a writer in the business world. She switched over to to, to writing in sports. She was a, made appear, appearances on shows and eventually grown to a point where she became the lead host for her own show and got a big time contract. Oh, That's what it is. That's what it was. Everybody's route different. Some people have to do radio for a whole, yeah, a whole long wrote. time. 
Some people, have, these, these fucking pro athletes retire and get straight on TV. Spinning just skipped we, over we, a million motherfuckers. We can say they haven't earned it. Spinning All I'm saying, that's, that's what the case is. You really are defending her because she was a I'm writer. I'm saying what her experience was. You have any bronze I know that I'm a writer? what her experience was, homie. I'm seeing what her <laughs> so experience was. So she skipped was. over everybody. Everybody who write can't talk either, though, homie. Come you on. know that. I know that. Uh, she on. does a good job for what her lane is. Oh, my. Stop, stop trying to like just change the bar for what it's supposed to be in. Just defend the DEI hire because, to be honest, incentive based hire. You got to ask yourself why, why, on, why do we even have DEI hire? Like, why is that even a thing? Because for too long, white men like yourself who are in position of hiring and firing was hiring only people who look like fucking them. And people who look like me and Play women victim. sometimes victim. was not getting, no, it's facts too. Victim. I ain't no victim. You know victim. I ain't never been no victim. I'm a fucking hustler, homie. Ask How are you a hustler, I'm homie? A white man out. hired you. I'm a fucking hustler, A white man hired you. What the fuck are you talking about, Whitlock homie? Whitlock put me on, homie. Get the homie. fuck out of here with Whitlock that victim put me shit, on, homie. I who hired him? A white boy hired him. A white boy hired him. homie. You got not put me on, mind. homie. And I'm it's a cold my, hustler. You ain't no cold hustler, way. motherfucker. You don't know what hustling is, homie. Hustler. You don't know what hustling is. I'm a cold hustler, homie. You're so I, always work, I always work my you way up. I always work my way up. You are a beta male, homie. Get the fuck out of here. You saw. A cold hustler. You saw. This motherfucker saw some shit. You can't have a He's a victim now. You can't have a fact. There ain't even a black dude in here that thinks you're a victim, homie. I ain't never been no victim. You just said you are. I don't fuck about no chat. You just said you are. Because I'm giving out the facts. You just said you're a victim. He's gonna give you the fact I'm a victim. You. White boy hired you. You ain't hired me shit. A, you ain't paying me to hire boy, me. A white boy hired you at Fox. I decided to join you to grow the white show. White boys gave you a scholarship. I to join you to, to a white join boy the gave show. you a scholarship. I a white boy paid for your scholarship. I earned my fucking scholarship. Oh, you homie, earned it because now. Because I'm a baller, homie. Ah, you earned it they now. They wanted to make their program ah, better. They wanted to make their program he better. They earned it now. They didn't do that shit for. They did that shit because they knew I'm helping them out. But why aren't you victim? I make them better, homie. Were you a victim of all When you went to the hood to get the best player, you didn't care about the player. You went there to make your all team day. better to make you look better, homie. Were you a victim of both Keep it real. <laughs> I ain't never been a victim. I ain't never been a victim ever in my life. So there's no but there's incentive still based facts. So, wait, so there's, there's no, still facts. So there's no incentive you got, based You got to be slow to not understand they didn't just fucking have DI for no fucking reason. Name me something. Real Affirmative quick. action hold didn't on, get fucking. No, no, no. Fuck that. Affirmative action didn't get made for no reason. Hold Black on. coaches was not getting hired in the NFL for the longest fucking time. It's victim. Point blank. But ain't no that ain't that's a yeah, fact. You're wrong. Even you're you wrong. say that white you're man. Wrong. Even you're you say that white you're man. Wrong. You're that's wrong. a fact, homie. Hey, 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 so the stats are the here, stats. The Black coaches was not getting hired at a high clip forever. Holy crap. That's a fact. That's a fact. Do you know ignorance is life threatening? Stop it. Hold on. Stop it. Hey, I want you to name me real quick. Please name me. Tony, 0607 was the first time a black coach even. Stop. Go. Hold Go on. Ahead. Please Go name, ahead. name one white person that's held you down. Go. JV. No, homie, go, motherfucker. You just said it. Homie, go. I'm from Compton, homeboy. Own blood. Now name me a white boy that's fucked with you. I but name hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm saying the facts are the facts. Nah, I'm you not saying I'm a victim, homie. It ain't fact, facts are the facts. You ain't it is fact. It is fact, fact. boy. It is fact. You give an opinion, homie. It is fact. Fact. You it is fact. fact. You telling me, motherfucker, you ain't shit. The stats are the stats. It's a real, it's a real, it's a real. 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 It's I ain't yeah. saying my life is happening. I ain't saying my life is happening. Name me a white boy. So, homie. so your slow ass said everything's fair. Name me a white boy. Let me ask you this. Everything's fair. So everything's fair. So everything's fair. How many brothers so, you got? No, no, answer my question, how many homie. You got everything's perfectly fair. How many? I ain't got no beef with nobody, homie. No beef. No beef with no brother. I have zero beef. I have zero beef. So yo, so yo, yo slow ass tell me. Yo slow ass tell me. You are ignorant if you say that. Tell me that every day is perfectly even. Stop it, Who homie. Stop it. Even. Even. I just you Stop it. You so play a victim, look at why the it's fuck the is DEI a here. thing? Answer my question. Because y'all they made it up. It's a they made it up. A they made it up. I don't get enough jobs. Stop. Hold on, no. The so so the hold on. They ain't so, make that fucking okay, shit up. Okay, so explain the Rooney rule to everybody right now. Go. The Rooney rule, basically, they, they have to interview X amount why, why, of black why? folks. Don't, don't because we're not getting don't fucking hired. The they're not hiring. The they're not getting hired. They're not getting hired. The decision the makers, the 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 Keep him fucking funky. This motherfucker's explaining half the rule. You can yell and scream all you want, JD. That don't make you don't even have the rule. I don't have it. No. Nope. You don't know the rule. I you just explained the rule. I told you what it was. No, you said what it was. That's what it is. I said why was it put in place. Tell us. 
See this motherfucker. Tell up. us. Now you go learn it. Tell us. You go tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Go look it tell up. Tell us. You sound like tell us. I mean, you sound tell us. ignorant. I said tell us. I said tell us. We are obligated on this show. I said tell us. Hold on. We are educated. obligated on this show to give real fucking shit. We're the real show. We're the real show. I am. No, you're not. I am giving real shit. Out from my perspective and what I believe. Every you black gotta... kid watching you now thinks you're fucking right. You're wrong, homie. The the rooting what, rule is a victim no, mentality rule. About? By the way, what am I wrong about, JB? The, everything you're no, talking okay. about right now. No, but what are the there ain't one white motherfucker that's held you down, but blacks have held you down. But no, you don't want to talk about that. Not shit. me. Bullshit, homie. How do you not know? Me. How do you know? Say the same. Homie, no, you have a black. No, ding, 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 ding. Rewind it. So you ask me which white man's held you down? Which white? I don't know who the fuck held me down. I'm not in those rooms. But you're ignorant to say to look at fucking look at the league, look at job to say that no, that everything is the fucking same and black people got the same exact opportunity. Hey. Right there. That is stupid. Now, I'm no, not no, 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 no. Two things can be true. Two things can be true. You get, we cannot have the same opportunities. I'm not saying we use it as a crutch. Fuck no. Figure it out. I've been my whole life. Figure it out. But that don't mean our, our opportunities are exactly the fucking the same. So let me ask you. That's far as literally you know it ain't, JB. There's you lying. There's, there's there's fucking two white boys on an NFL roster per team, homie. So, but you're fucking sorry for them? I, I wouldn't be sorry for fucking the white boys in the league then, homie. I want more and more white motherfuckers in the NBA, homie. And guess what I want? Y'all not better than Hold on, no. Guess what I want? Guess that's what different. I want? That's Hold on, no. Hold on, no. Different. They ain't different. They ain't different, different, homie. You just said that's it's different. in reality. You're that's speaking different. And play, as players. How is it different? Because when you're it comes, speaking no, in generality, when, when, when it comes to no, you're speaking play, in generality. Let me go. When we talk about athletes playing on the field, you fucking know this. It's about... Who's better than who? It don't fucking matter. You Mexican, white, now. black, no, no, as players. Oh, I'm talking man. about coaches and, and, and employees, let, 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 employees let me, and fucking jobs. Let me finish this, though. Come on, man. You know what else is funny? There's three black men on a show that you cover, but you're not on TV. But it's not the white man. It's the black man. How do you know that those three black people aren't holding you down? But it's a white person you're blaming on this show. <laughs> First of all, I'm not blaming a white man to hold me down at all. I'm not blaming a white man to hold me down at all. All I'm literally saying, when you look at America, you're literally ignorant. If you look at whether it's corporate America and jobs, whether it's coaching in football, coaching in sports, over the history, you are ignorant. If you look at the literal data and what and what what the numbers are and say, oh, it's just fair game. It's a reason why certain things get put in, in position. That's all I'm saying. The shit has not been an even slate. I'm also saying black kids who are listening, figure it the fuck out. That's how I was raised. Under, have knowledge, understand the way things are, but also figure out your lane and how to navigate that. I I, I might have more hurdles so than somebody fair, next to me. Life's not fair, then. Of course, of course okay, then. You, you say that all the time on this show. Okay. But now it's all, now all of a sudden it's a big old issue. I never, you you get so hyped and want to start yelling. I ain't never, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never been no, I ain't never been no victim. Okay, I, I'm never I freaking victim. Oh, I'm saying but that you say it there, you should, life's not fair. You say it. All right, because that's the truth. Then why is it now but, a big issue? Why can't you educate people and give them knowledge and understand what situation you're in? You're giving it, false information, homie. It's okay to it's, okay, it's okay to talk about slavery. It's no. okay to talk about Jim it Crow. Be, it's okay to talk about that. But it's like, okay, you know that. What you gonna do about it? That's all I'm saying. I'm but, not. I'm not saying be. Sydney, a, how I'm long not, are you gonna? I, I'm, not, talk over, I'm not saying go home and be like, damn, we got. What are you talking about, homie? You're, you're, what are you talking? I mean, those examples, JB. I, I, Stay I with me, y'all. Stay with me, y'all. Come on. What I'm saying is, you're still using that. I'm not using slavery today. I'm not saying slavery. I'm saying those type of things. Here's what I want to ask you. I want to get to the Rooney rule real quick. Tell me a brother that has benefited from the Rooney rule. Or is it a direct, absolute fucking slap in the face for even interviewing and entertaining it? When the black man stopped entertaining the fucking stupid rule and stopped interviewing when he knows already by his agent that he's not going to get the job, i.e. Marvin Lewis at the Cowboys, then it'll change. It won't change. Though. But it will change, homie. But you all keep saying that I'm going to go get the Rooney rule because I deserve a Rooney rule interview. No, you don't. So you're suggesting. You just said it's not let me fair, ask you this. right? Yeah. Then, then why do you deserve a fucking Rooney so rule interview? So let me ask you this then. You're suggesting that as black men who want to coach, don't even take the interview. No, 
No, here's what, here's what you know what this before the interview. You got you got you, you got at least roll the dice. Oh, give yourself yeah. a, give yourself no, a no, chance. No, 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 no. Before the Rooney Rule, do you know it exists? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm actually the educator. Internships, me. right? Minority internships exist in the NFL. They've they've been in the interview process for thirty years. So you know how many minority internship homies I have that are go coach for New England and a white Belichick in Dallas for the white McCarthy in wherever for the white fucking whoever and they get a job your boy right now the head coach for the texans is one of them marco moore he's one of them that benefited from it so did marvin lewis so did so many other cats they gun have an intern opportunity just so we're clear by the way though why don't we just talk i'm the first white motherfucker ever to talk about this shit when i ran this show solo that until there's a black owner in the nfl it ain't never changing so why are you crying now but i'm not crying i'm just li- i'm just hold on so that's why i got pissed because we're on the same page you know what i'm saying it's true i'm not crying I'm not, we can't I'm cry not, victim I'm not, is what i'm saying but i'm not but when we, when we but, cry victim, but it's not crying is what i but, say but, see it but it's not about crying victim. it's, it's about uh, but you're saying it you're stating it like this is a but, you're but, saying it's fact and blah 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 but why can't we admit that this is this is a thing kids but you shouldn't use it as a crutch you want to you want to just not tell them. You want to just no, no, no don't you, even tell you them. Came out crying it's okay, victim, it's okay for them to know what it is. But we already know. But listen, you have, you have <laughs> and, more, and, and they homie, respond differently. There's more black millionaires <laughs> now than there ever been. This before. is the best position we've ever been. That's oh, a fact. Oh, okay, this is the best position we've ever so been. So we can't today. continue to play this victim the from the 1700s though going forward to tell these kids that you have no shot. You're gonna get beat out by a white dude anyway. Oh, blah, I ain't blah, never blah, said that. I ain't never said we ain't got victim. no shot. We've seen it all over I'm just saying. I'm just saying that even to this day, this is the best position we've ever been. That don't mean the shit is still Coaching, fucking fair. Playing, that don't mean it's still uh, fair, uh, though. Everywhere. Yeah. Acting. I mean, Th- this is the best. But the fact, the fact of the matter is, why do we, why every time, uh, uh, you know, every year, oh, we, this is the most black coaches we've ever had in the NFL, or this is the first time that, that we've ever seen black. We, we're still having first. We're still having to acknowledge this because why? But, because, okay. because the history, the, oh, the actual, like, facts this is, is the history over, that we, we didn't have. This it. is all over Mina Kimes. She's like 40. Like when? Well, we got all over the place. I don't know how. Yeah, we. Okay, but it's all started with Mina Kimes, and she's like forty. How old is Mina Kimes? I don't know. I have no idea. She has to be forty. I know nothing about. I would. I would argue she's forty. She's thirty nine. Okay, she's thirty nine. When did she earn the fucking right? This all started with the DEI conversation. When did Mina Kimes earn her stripes? If she's thirty nine right now, and why don't we know about it, homie? That is the whole conversation piece. D-E-I. All I know is she was a writer. Exactly. For a long time. She's a writer. I, I, I know she started in the business. Whitlock was a writer, bo- Smitty. Bo- yeah, Whitlock see, was a writer. Exactly. And you see where he's at. That, 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 Look, yeah, no, where is that he? used to be the route of how you get to TV. Nah, I mean, I, he, I mean, I don't want to no, get to Willow, but yeah. Willow didn't have to leave he, Fox. That's what I'm trying to say. I, like, I know. So that's, he that's, made, that's he an old decision. That's what I'm saying. He made it, and what happened? He, he chose to say, you know what? He I'm not, chose I'm not, to. I'm not abiding by this. Yeah, whatever his own little. Yeah, that's his. But I'm saying, that's why inside and outside, he didn't have to leave. That's what I'm saying. So, like, it's not like, oh, he got kicked out. No, it just, they didn't come to an agreement, whatever the case may be. My point being is, traditionally, the, the route to TV is to be a writer. But she don't know football. Stephen A., journalist. Skip Bellis, journalist. Okay. These guys are journalists. At- so, either journalist or be a former athlete who retired. And then you get on TV. Those, answer, are, those answer are two me routes. Answer me this. Traditionally. Does this female... Mina Kimes no football. Seriously, like, don't give me the stats that she flats out there. Because when you say I don't watch when you say two shell coverage, it's a fucking terminology that coaches that look at it and get cringe over. We cringe over it. Two shell what? There's no such thing as two shell no more. By the way, no one uses two shell unless you're an average speaking head that don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Like. She don't know football, Smitty. She spits out analytics. To your point, maybe she does her research and she gets all this old shit. She does what an intern's to do. She does what an intern does. Like, she gets the fucking data. She gets it to the next person, which is us. You betters out there who think she really knows fucking ball. She don't know ball. It's embarrassing to hear. She doesn't deserve the spot she has. But guess what? Life ain't fucking fair. I'm going to be the one to tell you that. I've been telling you that. I don't give a fuck that she has the job, by the way. 
I don't give I'm a saying, fuck I'm what she makes. That, why is it? Bo- that's what I'm saying. Why does it bother you so much? It bothers me when I know that Merrill Hodge was pushed out when he actually gave real fucking football she, terminology. See, Mina had nothing to do with Merrill Hodge's situation. When it's Sean, not her fault. I'm not saying it is. That's not what I'm in. saying. There's a million other dudes like Merrill Hodge right. and John Salisbury that had great shows on ESPN that got pushed out for this hire. Yeah. That's the definition. I can't, of I can't speak on that because all I know in TV, TV. But do you agree that's TV, what DEI is? TV, TV is a grimy business and they all they care about is ratings. Don't you agree? So it's been shows I've been a part of. I thought it was fucking she great shows. Get, she doesn't get ratings though. I, I, I literally, I, I'm not saying I don't know what you know. I literally cannot confirm that. I, I don't. Have, I have no knowledge no, we, of the I number she uh, of the numbers that, that, that she gets. But we pull the ratings up on the, at home. Then you can't get the horrible. you can't get the. All right, never mind. I don't know what you can get. I just know that ratings. I know ratings at Fox. I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm talking about actual. Yeah, we get legit. We have a company that sends exclusive, literal ratings of every single show at Fox Sports yeah. that y'all fans can't see. I, I so know, I don't know. I, know. Exactly. I got Netflix so, inside so the, Netflix so the, right, views. Right. So the I'm top, saying, the top don't talking, care talking, about that. But are you talking about ratings or are you talking views? That's what I want to be clear. So I'm talking about TV. Yeah, t- I guess TV ratings, which is but which is views. Her, so Okay, her views are at all time low. That's all I know. Got you. And, and, ESPN and her show. And if, that, and if that's the case, it won't last that long again. If that's true, because the, the IOS only care about they bottom uh, line. I don't know. Though. They bottom line shows get canceled left and right, homie. I don't know. Pardon the interruption. Gets has, has been on for my whole fucking life. But like, why the ratings are phenomenal? Nobody cried. Per se, phenomenal. But here's the crow part. Nobody cried victim when Max Kellerman got the boot by Stephen A. And Stephen A. the black man stayed on sk- stage. Nobody cried that cry. I didn't see that cry. I didn't see nobody talking about that. Marcellus Wiley came out and did a video about that. Nobody brought that up. I, I didn't see nobody defend Max Kellerman when he got the boot on what you agree is the highest rated show, right? Yeah. Steve, but Stephen A is an outlier. He's unfireable. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it, we can't have it on this side and this side. But it is. like That's why That's why this show is so good. I, Stuff is not so, so black that. and white. Like, literally. Like, not so black. Sometimes you're so great at what you do I get it, that they don't give a fuck. You green. All they see is green <laughs> because Stephen A is fucking ESPN. They make so much money off Stephen A and now and now McAfee now and now McAfee. But so. go down to Khan. Like it, to me, it's not even. It doesn't even make show. I get it, and it really wasn't. Max Kellerman has a name too. Guy. Yeah, but Come no, on. for sure. I thought, there's no distance. Man, I'm just saying, like, he don't draw. He, he ain't no, the same I'm draw as Stephen A. It, 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 but yeah. that's my point, though. Like, Max is really good. If yeah. Stephen A, though, would have got the boot, there would have been a fucking, uh, a fucking cops would have been up that motherfucker suing. Like, let's be real. Max Kellerman didn't have no fucking stance. He didn't have no posse coming in there bitching and moaning and crying that he got fired. You imagine the fucking shit that they would have. Here's the issue. When somebody got gets fired or somebody, let's say the ball broad that's on ESPN right now, or the other one, Kimberly Martin, who fucking is could be worse than Mina Kind, by the way. Oh, I would agree that she is. She gives no insight. You imagine them firing her though? Like, do you know the fucking why do you think Kendrick Perkins re-signed, homie, after he just started a shit loan that's gonna fuck black kids? Ah, the fuck is kidding me? But the white man's wrong because nah, I'm mad about black kids to fucking their future. Like, hell. This ain't no anti white like thing, no, JB. I'm saying, I'm making clear. I, like, I, 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 I'm, just say, I'm just saying, there are no, things I'm not, I'm not, I be clear. in place. I'm not that trying to act put like. like, 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 like <laughs> make sure we're clear. I'm not trying to act like. <laughs> Smitty is anti white. His, his whole family and friends are white. He doesn't, know, he doesn't know any brother. I'm saying that imagine it the other way. I'm just throwing it out there right now. Today's world, it's different, homie. Y'all have the upper advantage. I'm just telling you right now. Y'all, I don't know who y'all are, but I'm just telling well, you. Well, if that's true, then I, it's about fucking time. White man. Cool. Because we know in the pedestal of America, this y'all, white man has been at the tip of the top of the line y'all, forever. Because y'all held each other down. Because uh, y'all fucking burnt down our whole community that we that we. Are, but that's another conversation. Y'all held each other down. You know, came over and down. Hollered at me. Ooh. Then you thought, you my grandpa did. Y'all burnt down our entire my fucking grandpa. black community we had trying to, trying to build. Y'all burnt it down. Hey, no, this red line, and, and, you know. And the KKK burned across the whole y'all, and, and, and then And then y'all pushed us all. all and then y'all pushed us. I know. They all moved out. And then they red line does mean they kept black people out of certain, getting certain properties, certain neighborhoods, and put us all in these certain places. And they didn't invest those areas. So the area became hood. See the history? We, we live in, yeah. So I ain't got something to that. But I'm saying there are certain things that are literal, actual facts that are. 
that, that, that have actually held us back and that actually does affect you from years because when you can't buy a home at a young age, you can't you can't get equity versus a white man who can't buy, buy a home for four hundred thousand dollars back in I the eighties and can hold on that house and pass that house down. Now that house turns to two million dollars. Now uh, you got equity in that. Pass. So I'm saying there is shit that actually does matter. So history does matter because yeah. shit passes down. It does it does affect everything. But it's we ain't got time and to go there. But 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 yeah, burn down the hood. We're not being rebuilt. There are certain things that you should be educated on. I say you mean these people. It's okay. Real estate demographic, right? Real estate, mm -hmm. that's how they make it. Yeah. Right? What time is it? And then, I don't know. And then, you see, my grandpa, the one that got blamed, he brought the brother in the comp, then they burned across on his lawn, and then the history started. Then I hired you. That what the fuck was that? That was a crazy joke. You didn't hire me though. I we decide we had meetings and we decide to we decide to partner, homie. White people. I'm your partner. I'm not your employee, homie. Yeah, partner. That's what I'm saying. I'm your partner. Well, I didn't. It's, okay, you're right. I'm not. Yeah, it's, not it's a hire, different. But it's a partnership. We business partners. And I I came to you. Yeah. You didn't come to me. Yeah. So I'm the victim, homie. Because you asked around and you heard about my greatness. I'm the victim now. <laughs> I want to be a victim. Tomorrow's show, I'm gonna be victim. Shout